Salute, salute, salute. On my generals, on my giants, on my lions, on my real men. Y'all already know what it is, man. Lions and men on deck. I did have my, um, I had something written down. Misplaced it. <laughs> but I remember what I was, the main topic is, and basically it's homo thugs. Yup. Them DL dudes too, because I got one for the DL niggas that was acting like they was... They wasn't gay, but they was. We was gay as fuck. Pause. Now, nah, no pause, no homo. You know what? I'm not even saying pause, no homo. That's for them dudes that, I don't know. They feel insecure. I'm not insecure with my shit. I know what I'm talking about. Everything I'm talking about is real. Now, this is not mama dead, mother dead, but it's kind of like the same thing. Now, I spoke on, I spoke on this. On a live, but I didn't post it on, on, on a regular video, which is this is going to be this one. I'm going to post this content and I'm going to expound on a couple of things. And if I have time, I want to touch on a couple of things because it's a little bit. I ain't going to lie because like I feel like Oz, that series Oz that came out while on HBO, I believe it was years ago. People were telling me that that was based on New York. So I'm like, yo, I couldn't have been based in New York State. I was all through New York State. But if it was based on New York State, it could only be based on one specific block in Attica. Now, something in the back of my mind is telling me that if it was based in New York State, it was based in the federal correctional facility. Because the feds is a whole nother animal, you feel me? And if that's the case, then yeah, I ain't got that much input when it comes to the feds. Because I already heard, like, the feds is like a daycare, as far as I heard. The state is way worse. The feds got everything in there, bro. Like, you go to the feds, you eating good. You know what I mean? You drinking good. <laughs> like, if you're not, like, one of the ones that's in the feds is doing, you know what I mean? Buried under the jail. You actually living way more comfortably than dudes is living in upstate in Attica. Niggas make it seem like the feds is worse than the state. Where? Dudes, dudes want to go to the feds. <laughs> Motherfuckers want to eat the way they eat. And they got brunch. They got lunch. Like, come on. Let's not even go there. I don't want to get off topic, though. Because not all fed joints is the same. Some of them are way more worse. Those are the supermaxes, though. Not every federal correctional facility is a supermax. All right? So... Now, to get back on track, I want to call it like the devil's playpen. Attica Correctional Facility was the worst. All right. B Block, I believe it was. B Block or C Block? It's one of those blocks. After I left A Block, I went to either C or B. I'm not 100% sure which one. Whichever one is the one that had the metal shop. And whichever one was the one where they had that that booty bandit CO preacher working at. Which I believe was, like I said, I think it's C block. I'm leaning more towards C block. So, after I left A block, they sent me to C block. The minute I got into that gallery. It was like all I smelt was like shit and sweat, bro. It just stink. It just smelt crazy. It was like, what the fuck? And I'm hearing mad people. And then I'm seeing the porters this out on the flats. I noticed are all gay dudes. That was the first thing I noticed. Strike one. I'm like, what the fuck? Now, my cell was one of the first three cells. And those are the ones that's double bunked. Some of the ones all after the first three cells are single cell. So the first three cells on each side are double bunk. Or the first four cells on each side. Something like that, right? So I landed in a double bunk cell with some white dude. Some hick nigga. And, and he was a tattoo artist. So he's the one that did the tattoos I got on my back and shit. And he was a cool dude. He was good money. And he played his position. You feel me? So I was fortunate enough not to get put in the fucking... Cell 
with a flamboyant ass gay dude. Cause that would have been like, I, I would have never been able to do that. You feel me? Like, how am I going to do that? I can't be in no cell with no dude like that. So I got lucky on that one. The atmosphere in that unit was devilish. I mean, it was crazy, man. I was seeing shit that I've never seen before. I'm seeing all out homos, gay people, gay men. Obviously gay men. But I'm talking about dudes that look like regular, smegular dudes like me. Like, they just look like regular. Dudes is brolic as fuck. And they all bunk. Or they have chicks. Not chicks. I can't say chicks. But they, they, they all have... Or they all got other little shit trolls that they dealing with. They got a bunch of other little booty bandits that they dealing with. They all in relationships, bro. Motherfuckers is getting names of they tattoos. The flamboyant gay joints. Alright, so the flamboyant gay dudes, the ones that's real like, hey, and all that extra shit. Wearing their shirts tied up, trying to put fucking Kool-Aid on their lips. Like lipstick, they trying to do whatever it is to make them look. Like a female, they embolded it because the dudes that they claiming as they mans is dudes that's doing stupid numbers, right? And they gun go off, supposedly. So these dudes is booty bandits, but they not soft. You feel me? They're not vagina. So... And they don't even like vagina. <laughs> anyway, but yo. So, the first day I hit that yard, right? The first day I hit that yard. You know, I got to report. I got to see the bros, where the bros at. You know what I'm saying? Because I already came from A Block. Niggas already knew I'm in the building. And I got packed up and over there. So, I got to go to the yard. I go to the yard. I, 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 I chop it up with the twins. I find the bros fast. It's a couple of us out there. King Love, I believe, had the um, first crown at the time and all that. Boom, boom, boom. King Bam was there. We had a couple of real hitters there. They find out what block I'm on, right? They're like, damn, bro. I'm like, yeah, damn, nigga. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this? They're like, yo, and then I'm skipping. Before I find the bros, I'm spinning the yard. I'm spinning the yard. The first ones that stand out is these gay dudes. You know why? Because they got like, not only do they got like, they got like three tables and a whole handball court. The homo thugs in that yard, all them booty banners in that yard, they had more tables than the Bloods and the Kings, or damn near the same amount of tables as the Bloods and the Kings. And they had a handball court. Like literally they had a handball court, but it was nothing but gay dudes that be on that handball court. And they had... um. <laughs> Like three tables. It was mind blowing to me, bro, to see this shit. It was like, it was normal, my nigga. You were seeing regular dudes like this, right? And another ugly ass homo nigga sitting on a regular dude lap in a fucking yard in Attica Correctional Facility. I'm like, yo, that shit, I'm walking this yard, I'm like, oh my God, this shit is serious. I'm like, yo, what is this? That's the only jail. That's the only block I was in, which was in Attica. That's the only block in my whole um bed. And I did over 12 years in prison that I ever was like seeing shit like that. Seeing shit that I'm like, wow. These dudes is holding weight. They putting work in. They get in the bag. They doing all of that. It was weird as fuck. Then two of the most gangster ones was the fucking craziest looking ones in the whole spot. Hold on. This shit getting crazy. Oh my god.